What's up everybody? It's Nick from Mining Office and today I'm going to talk to you about something I've never spoken about before and it's how to secure your crypto. I have all these graphics cards, these guys mining Ethereum, most of these guys mining Ravencoin and uh, yeah, how do I secure all the crypto I make with, uh, with these rigs? Well, um, I'll answer that question, but long story short, soon it's going to be with this Trezor One hardware wallet. So uh, let me get this unboxed and open. I'm going to show you the contents and then we're going to go through the setup process and uh, I'm going to talk to you a bit about different types of wallets, what's the advantage of this and um, what cryptos you can store on this bad boy. So yeah, let's get into it. First things first, before cutting anything, you want to look at these holographic seals here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Focus on it. And you want to make sure they are intact. They are authentic. And uh, see you go Trezor there. Actually, we're seeing it pretty well. And there is this on both sides. All right. So make sure they're intact. It doesn't look like it was tampered with in any way. And uh, you got this from a, an official seller. So be careful on Amazon if you're buying these that they're from the official seller. If not, you can get them directly from the Trezor website. So yeah. Okay, so let's just take 30 seconds to pop this guy open. So cut the plastic film, first of all. Get that off. Okay, well, this is how this thing opens. I mean, look, it's, it's like glued on. So you're pretty much, you have to tear it somehow on here. Anyway. Let's get to the packaging. In here, you get a little Trezor manual. Your personal recovery seed. Do not disclose this seed to anybody. All right? So that's really important. You have two of these. I'm going to show you guys. Um, and you will write your 24-word key phrase on this. Very important. Like I said, do not disclose this. Don't put it on your computer. Don't take a picture of it. Write it down on here. Don't tell it to anybody. And there's a backup copy, like I said here, of the exact same thing. Write it a second time, store it in a second location in case something happens to the first one, your house burns down, God forbid, or whatever it is, it gets lost, you have a second one to recover it. So really important, don't skip this step. Um, it'll be there later in uh, the setup. So uh, yeah, um, a little a disclaimer and getting started guide. Um, you have a little... <laughs> Trezor mini lanyard here, I guess, to put on your uh, your Trezor. We'll get to that. Uh, a uh, USB cable to plug it in. And you have the Trezor device itself. There you go. So, sorry for the bad lighting, I know. We'll uh, pull this off here. And I think that's pretty much it for the unboxing, guys. It's uh, nothing too special. Uh, we're going to hop over to the computer and go through the setup and... Uh, Look at more interesting information on this. All right, guys, I want to start off by saying one thing. Not your keys, not your crypto, all right? So first of all, I can never recommend for all you miners out there to mine to an exchange. I think that's the worst possible outcome. I know for people who sell all the time, uh, it's, a it's a reality, right? But I do not recommend that because that's where you're the most vulnerable, right? If you're not holding large amounts, it's okay. Um, but obviously you don't want to be holding massive amounts or your whole crypto fortune on an exchange. Um, the other option there, which again, look, I use this for uh, my Ethereum. My Ethereum gets paid out to MetaMask. All right. MetaMask is a, uh, well, you can get this as an app, but I have it as a uh, browser extension. Uh, so this is already much better. I won't get into the details why. There's tons of great videos out there explaining the ins and outs of each. Uh, go go check out Coin Bureau. He has so many amazing videos on these subjects. So I'll leave it to him. There's no way I could do it better than that. So uh, yeah, but this is another option. Um, however, the safest option, of course, is a hardware wallet, all right? Now, if you want the best of both worlds, and this is something I'll get to, um, this hardware wallet, Trezor, uh, interacts and uh, you can get it um, integrated, I should say, into the Exodus wallet, all right? So we'll get to that a bit later. Uh, the Exodus wallet is a free wallet you can download. It's it's really cool. So we'll, we'll get to that too, but uh, let's get back to the Trezor. Uh, before we go through the setup, we'll go through the list of supported coins. Again, guys, I'll leave links in the description for uh, 
all the stuff I'm looking at here on the screen. All right, so uh, you guys can find it. Um, here you can see, I well, I have the Trezor Model 1. There is a Trezor Model T. Uh, it is a substantial amount more. I wouldn't recommend it. I think the, the Trezor 1 is much better value for money. However, if you're really set on having certain tokens, I would say the biggest ones here being Cardano and Ripple XRP. Um, those are supported by the Model T, but are not supported by the Model 1 or the Trezor one, excuse me. So if you really have a lot of Cardano and XRP, maybe it's worth investing the extra money uh, to get it. But anyhow, you can see all the major ones you would expect are um, supported. So Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, BNB, Binance Coin, Dogecoin, AVAX, Uniswap, Chainlink, Litecoin. I'm not going to go on here forever, but I'll name a few other ones. Stellar, Tezos, Monero. Uh, you can see Monero is one of those that's just supported on the Model T, so be careful. A um, few others I want to show would be uh, Ravencoin, right? So if you look for Ravencoin, it's supported on both. If we look for Ergo, we will see... Oh. Ergo is not supported yet, so I'm not surprised on that one. I just wanted to show it as an example, but it doesn't support everything. So make sure to look it up, but there is a lot. You can see supported coins and tokens. I think this is the number for the Trezzle Model T, but still, that is 1,791 different tokens. So uh, yeah, a lot of support. Most likely what you want will be found in here, and that's a good thing. Half of these I've never heard of uh, in my entire life. So anyway, uh, enough of that. Um, let's get into the, on the instruction booklet, the getting started thing. It says uh, that you're going to want to go to uh, this website here I'm showing, uh, trezor.io slash start. Um, it brings you to this page and here it prompts you to get the desktop app. You can choose it for Mac, Windows, or Linux. Obviously, I'm going to take the Windows 10 version. So let me uh, get into this and uh, I'll cut back. I'm plugging in my Trezor now to the computer. Uh, I can see the screen go on and it says, welcome, please visit, uh, well, the website we went to to get this installer. So here we go. It seems to be working. Yeah. So my hologram was intact and untampered with. I bought from the official shop or a trusted reseller. I did buy from a trusted reseller. Package wasn't tampered with. All these things check out. Set up Trezor takes about five minutes. So we're going to install the firmware. Uh, that's the first thing. Like I said, it's so far very intuitive. Um, and here you go, installing firmware. Uh, so I'll cut back to you guys when this is done. Uh, you can see there's five different steps here. Firmware, wallet, pin, coins, and the fifth one is party time here. So uh, I can't wait to get to party time, guys. Uh, well, actually, here we go. We're done. It's very quick. Uh, so uh, the Trezor is actually disconnected from my computer now. Uh, let's see what's happening next. It is reconnected. As you guys can see, we can continue. Uh, so we're going to create a new wallet. Uh, we're going to do a standard seed backup. We do um, your wallet is almost ready. Uh, all right, so we have to back it up. This, I believe, is the 24-word seed phrase, so let's get to it. Um, and I will actually skip this part. Uh, I will cut back after it's done, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm done the setup. Um, what I had to do is, again, write down the 24-word recovery seed. Uh, on both of the uh, papers I got with the, <laughs> with the Trezor 1, obviously. Uh, afterwards, I had to put in a pin, which I had to confirm, um, and then we were brought to the screen. We actually had to choose which tokens we wanted to uh, activate, but you can always go and change that after. And it brings you to this page. So you can see here, you, you name it as well. You can change the, uh, the back screen, if you will, or home screen on the Trezor if you, uh, if you wish. And then you're ready to receive. So um, I want to go into staking for a second, guys, because if you're just holding crypto, uh, you want to be doing something with it, right? And um, staking is another way to make passive income. And we're all about passive income, right? So there are multiple ways to stake. Um, you can stake through the Trezor wallet, through the interface of the Exodus wallet, all right? Um, Exodus has a support for the Trezor hardware wallet. Um, and Exodus is a very nice uh, wallet and UI, as you can see here. So um, I won't go too, too much into that. But Exodus is, is in my opinion, a great product. And I mine my raven coin to the exodus wallet all right um so let's just get into staking here you'll see that uh you can stake on the exodus wallet um however this is what they support all right so algorand cardano this one interests me cosmos neo ont 
Solana, this one also interests me, Tezos, and VeChain, which again, also interests me. Uh, so you can see the support list is not that great. I mean, you can stake some coins, which is good. And I'm assuming they're trying to expand this. Um, however, if you look at the rates, they are not that great. Now, that's the thing. Let's look here. So Cardano, you get about 5%. I'm just going to be rounding up here, guys. Uh, Solana, you get 6.5%. Uh, Algorand, 4.69. If we look at VeChain here, one29 and if we just compare on Binance, so Binance is my exchange of, of choice, personally. Um, if we look here, we'll go to expand all staking products. And we'll just compare some of the same coins here. So as well, they have Cake and BNB, which uh, are very nice. I have some of that. Uh, here, Solana, 9.2% for 30 days. Now, the uh, 60 days is 9.9 .9, and 90 days is 11.5. If we go back and compare uh, to that Exodus, Solana was 6.69. So it's almost like 150% staking through Binance. So I'm not saying it's the right choice to stake it through the Exodus wallet, but you can do that. Personally, if I'm gonna make a higher return, I'm gonna be staking it through the exchange. But again, you wanna be careful how much you have on the exchange. So let's just look at one more uh, for an example. What was another one we had here? Uh, Solana and uh, Cardano. So let's look for Cardano, ADA, and we get 5.9% for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. So also, this is going to be locked staking. This is a big difference. So your coins are going to be locked. For Exodus, you can check some are locked staking, some are not locked staking. Uh, so that's the advantage there. You do have that, uh, that advantage with Exodus. But for me, look, you have very small fixed terms so it's very bearable but look five percent seven point seven nine eight point three eight so let's just use the lowest one five percent again comparing here four point nine one so you're kind of always getting more by staking on the exchanges it seems i'm just using binance as an example you guys can check coinbase or whatever your exchange of choices but that was just my word on staking again i'll leave all the links i'm using here uh, in the description so you guys can check them out for yourselves and the last thing i want to show is basically the exodus wallet how it interfaces with the trezor one and uh, how it looks so you can see here this is my exodus wallet um, all I have is Stellar, which I actually sent here yesterday, and my Ravencoin. This is all the Ravencoin I have mined so far with all my LHR cards, minus this last deposit here of 2,500 Ravencoin, which I had purchased on Binance, and now I just added. But if you remove this 2,500 Ravencoin from this grand total, that's how much I've mined, if you're wondering. Um, and you can see the totals here, right? So... Uh, my Stellar is worth 355 CAD, and my Ravencoin is worth 1,321 CAD, all right? Um, if you go over here to the top right corner, you'll see that uh, my Exodus total is the sum of those two. And over here, you have Nick's Trezor with $0. That's because I've transferred nothing to my Trezor yet. But if we click on this, uh, we're brought to another wallet. And you can see here there's Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, Litecoin, etc., and this is how you access and you can get a view of your portfolio and all that um, for your your trezor so if you have bitcoin in there or ethereum you could see it all with this beautiful graphical interface and manage it this way and also just transfer in between both your your trezor and your exodus wallet it's really really super easy to do um, and yeah if you want to transfer you can even exchange from one token to another directly through Exodus. So a lot of cool features, guys. I think it's gonna be really, uh, really easy and really a fun time to manage all my assets using this combo. All right, guys, so thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I see in my analytics, 95% of people who watch are not subscribed. So that would really help if just five more percent of people subscribe to my channel. So please, that'll really help me out. And uh, my recommendation to you guys is all to invest in a crypto hardware wallet. It is the safest way and it's very inexpensive. Uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, this Trezor one is a great option and maybe in a future video, we'll check out another option. Uh, this one which was sent to me by AAA Wave, the Stone V20. Uh, there are a lot of other options. There's the Ledger. Um, 
many, many more. So yeah, let me know if you guys have a crypto wallet, a hardware crypto wallet, and if not, uh, what do you use to store your crypto? So if not, guys, have a really great day. Thanks for watching and take care.